Oh, look, it's outstanding. Um, you know, in terms of my emotions, I'm just really proud of these blokes. Um, and they've made a lot of people proud since the day they got together and, and the day the blokes made a decision that they're going to play for Tonga. And that was obvious from, obvious from the day we turned up in Tonga how proud people were of them. And uh, they've just continued to make people proud uh, ever since. And, uh, yeah, that effort out there was outstanding. Uh, obviously, uh, it was a real step up again from last week's game. Uh, they, they, they rose to the occasion and they, they just continue to find something. So, uh, you know, I, I can't be any prouder of them. Sigurd, as the captain, how what was that like for you? Can you explain your emotions? Yeah, it's probably, it's probably one of the best feelings uh, you know, for, uh, to get the win. It's just great for Tonga um, against New Zealand. It's, um, you know, they're, they're a world class side. Um, boys done a really good job. And, Enough to come over the win, but no, I'm really, really, really proud to be a part of this uh, special group. Christian, you were the one who pointed out no tier two team is beaten a tier one team. For you, what does that mean? Um, well, look, I don't know what it means for me personally, to be honest. I'm, you know, it's uh, as I said before, I'm just really proud of this bunch of blokes. It's more about what it means for them. Um, you know, I'm not Tongan, I'm just here to try and help and, and try and uh, you know, make Tongan rugby league and, and these players reach their potential. and. Uh, yeah, this group of blokes is certainly doing that at the moment, and we've got a lot of footy left ahead of them. Uh, we obviously need to enjoy tonight and get our heads out of tonight and make sure that we're ready for another game of footy next week and you know, make sure we make the most of another really good opportunity that's ahead of us. So, uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's what it means for me, is I'm, I'm just really proud seeing these blokes uh, achieve what they can achieve. I don't know if you noticed that, but during your captain run press conference, Jason was addressing his team. Uh, really starting to become vocal, stepping up as a leader. Why did he feel that it was so important for leaders to pick out tonight and just really lead from the front? Well, that's a good question. I didn't know they were doing that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I so was it was... Until we stepped up and started doing it. So, um, I think it just felt, um, you know, obviously before the stuff that happened before the World Cup, him choosing to play for time, it just um, you know, felt like it was right for him to do it. Uh, to have, Tinker, what about advancing on the market? That's not something we don't see it every day in any sport. You know, what what, what went into the decision to do that? So to that? advance, you know, to walk forward against the haka. Oh, know? I think um, when you usually do the haka, you're supposed to stay on your side of the half, and, and, and they crossed halfway, so we, you know, we uh, you know, retaliated by stepping forward. So, uh, I mean, that was just it. For you, Sigur, is that a sign from Jason that he's committed to Tong and Jumper for good? You don't think he'll play for New Zealand again? Uh, I'm not too sure on that. What is he's obviously well, look, one thing I know is he's really happy with his choice. Right? You can see that in his body language, you can see that in the way he plays. He's really happy to be with Tonga. And, but what I think is really important is we just enjoy what's going on at the moment with this group of men too. I, I don't know what he's going to do after this and you know, I don't know what any of us are going to do to be honest. But uh, you know, we've achieved something really special as a group. We've got plenty of things we can still achieve and uh, it's really important we just keep enjoying it and keep doing that at the moment. I know there's some critics, Christian, that have mocked it. I think the thing that shows the credibility of it is uh, the crowd out there at the moment. And the number of people who turned up for a game, you know, if, there, if this was a, a thirty or 40,000 stadium, I'd be pretty sure that we'd get that many. You know, if you played this game at Mount Smart, I'd be pretty sure it was a sellout as well. Um, and that's what gives it credibility. And uh, you know, I've said before, no one supports uh, each other like the Tongans. Uh, they're outstanding. They've shown that every single place we've been, whether it was in Tonga, the reception we had there was overwhelming. When we turned up in New Zealand, it's been the same. Last week was the same, tonight's the same. Uh, they certainly give everything that we're doing credibility. Man, I'm only, I would have been 11, so, but this is what the first night of origin must have been like. I, I just wonder, it, why were you the first team to do it? What, what made you guys so special that you were the first team to be able to do this and knock over a, a, tier, a tier one country? 